Cesar was shown in museums everywhere in the world. He, 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 he is, and he was very famous all his lifetime. He loved materials, materials and sensuality. And I think that you could see that in his work. When you see the work from the 50s, the iron pieces that we have, the torso from the MoMA, it's very strong and it's very poor material. It's iron and, uh, and after you could see how he explores different materials in a classical way with very classical sculpture that we, we just have one example in this show but we have a compression and for him a compression it was a very unusual thing because as a classical sculpture as Giacometti or G Germaine Richier or people from Paris at this time showing a pieces that he find it was more an intellectual gesture so he decided to ask to Fiat to give him uh, 15 cars new car uh, with the same model of car and he compressed it but in a very different way it's uh, the pieces are more open and uh, and they did two uh, that you could hang on the wall. The thumb is very iconic piece of Cesar. I think that Cesar is its, it's most successful. He went to a studio and he discovered a guy who was working on sculpture with an instrument and you could change the size of the sculpture. So he was crazy about that. And he asked him, for example, if, if I give you my thumb, could you do a Cesar with? So it was very intellectual. The idea was Cesar doesn't do the sculpture anymore, but the instrument could fabric or could do a Cesar. I was very lucky. The foundation is very, very happy to work with Luxembourg Diane because they have this sensibility to show what people maybe don't think to show. And because they are, they are coming from, they have a very European culture too, uh, they have the liberty of, uh, of doing that kind of uh, exhibition.